Oh, these are gonna hurt. They're so close to me. Oh, that's right underneath me. That's gotta be it. Hi, my name is KK, and we are out of absolutely everything to build with. Almost everything. As you can see, no weed stems. So this is where we're gonna start today is kind of just doing the grind because I do need more weed stems, which I am going to specifically hunt down the burrs, the spiky burrs, because I think I am out of spiky burrs. I've got 22 left, which isn't enough, right? Oh, it is enough. However, I'm out of lint rope, so I need to go farm some lint rope as well. And then while we're out there, I do wanna go ahead and grab some charcoal. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to our sombrero our antlion armor. Probably kill some aphids if they have respawned already. I think that's a good one. And of course, anything else that we may need. So they did add the sign set for May. Since I can go ahead and purchase that, I will go ahead and purchase that because I don't want to miss out on any of those. So not a terrible run. Definitely didn't do too great in the scarab department. I only got 10, but I did get 30 charcoal, which is kind of impressive, actually. I was getting like three and four from a lot of them. I don't think I got one from a single one. Definitely all being re very rewarding just then. But the scarabs, um, I did have two run from me and they didn't come back up yet. And I've got this one glitched. It's like way behind the entrance to the uh, termite mound. So I'm unable to get to that. And then I also have this random blue dot on the map. It shows up no matter what I survey. It's just there. And I went over there and there's nothing there for me to grab. So I don't know what's going on. If you know what's going on with this, let me know. That would be awesome. Also, if you're wanting to know what's going on with this tower here and this building I am currently working on, I did do a welcome video to my members who joined the channel. And I talk about that or those things as well as future plans for the base. It's nothing important like to the game as far as the game goes. Everything will be revealed eventually. It's just kind of a heads up to people who've joined the channel, uh, like a reward. So if you're interested in joining, that would be amazing. And regardless, I absolutely appreciate every single one of you. So I did end up getting raided by orb weavers. Bruh. And I just want to see what they damage real quick. They didn't do a lot. Yeah, so this is what we're looking at. Some random bits over here. I never saw them over here. Uh, and then over there, they did break something over there, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so I do want to get this repaired, but I actually keep forgetting that there is a new repair tool in the game. Finally, like it's just been the wrench for the longest time and they've just introduced a new one with the Ant Queens. In that, what the heck? The Ant Queen repair tool. So this does use one Black Ant Queen pheromone, but I do have 18 of them. An exceptional tool capable of repairing buildings in a radius around the player. So that sounds really awesome, not having to click on each individual one. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and make one of these. And we're gonna give this a shot. And I'll probably upgrade it later, just, whoa. I just got sent off of that. Let's see how well this works. So it does a radius. I wish it would display the radius. All right, well, that's cool. That's cool. Now, does that health bar include everything around it or is it just the one item? So it shows each individual item. All right, radius does seem to be pretty large, so that's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade it, as I just said, and then take that, because I do think this will be able to get me... Um, oh, I already did the staff up to nine, so that's awesome. You are next. Mission today, or the main thing I want to get done today is the Wasp Queen. Which there are a few things that I gotta do before I can get to the Wasp Queen. Stirring the hornet's nest, this is exactly what we're about to do. And it's to disturb the wasp nest in the upper yard, which is to unlock the brawny bin, I'm pretty sure. And to do that, I do believe you have to knock down three of the nest. I think I've done three, but I may not have done them. I could have maybe done two, and I'm just thinking I have done an extra one. Not sure why I took the way up here that I did, but this is fine because I do wanna put a lean-to Right over here above where the rent the entrance the entrance is gonna be and then i'm gonna go ahead and set my spawn point right here as well there we go found somewhere so for the first location in the nest we've already seen this one done but i'm going here first anyway and i meant to grab salt arrows and i forgot but i want to do only one at a time all right well so much for one at a time huh okay so i only want one at a time let's see if i can hit you i missed On to the next one. Okay, so we got the wasp are annoyed by me. Hi, post editor KK here. You see this message that just popped up on screen? 
I did not see this message that just popped up on screen while I was playing. I wish I would have seen this message that just popped up on screen, but instead, I was distracted by the spiderling right in front of me. If I would have seen this message that just popped up on screen, it would have saved me from the frustration that followed. Thank you, and please enjoy. What is going on? Hey, every time they do that, they forget about me instantly. <sighs> this is absolutely frustrating right now. It keeps flying completely out of range. And then just doing this over and over again, or it'll just shoot me with a poison blast, whatever they're called, over and over again. Ouch, like that. So I think I'm just gonna try and ignore you. Yeah, you can just stay alive. Unless that's part of it, unless I do need to kill these two drones that I've skipped. They're just so frustrating, and I don't have the arrows to take it down. Oh, well, how about that? Wish there was a quartzite scanner. That'd be so dope. So there's actually two of these wasps still alive, but they followed me away, and I don't think they came back over here yet. So I'm gonna take a chance on knocking you down. Okay. So that did not get me the final message. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna kill the rest of these wasps. Dealing with those stupid drones too. Hopefully I can do something with these arrows. I've only got six of them because I keep missing my shots. And while I'm over here, I'm gonna go ahead and take these two out anyway, and then I'm gonna go sleep. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. I keep missing my shots. Yeah, I'm too annoyed by this. The arrows aren't doing enough to keep up with the healing and it just keeps flying away from me. I don't know why that one specifically is really frustrating at that tree branch. So I'm gonna hope that I got it. The last message never popped up. It just said that they were annoyed, but I am gonna go sleep and hope for the best or the worst. I don't know which one I would prefer. Hey, I got the hever, the hever. I got the everlasting hog stopper. The source of infinite food. A nibble now and then satiates your hunger in just the right amount. So food generation. I can't remember if this regenerates your food as it says, I'm gonna have to look it up or if it just makes it to where you don't lose or you don't become hungry anyways i have it equipped right now i'm going to find out i wonder if sleeping right here is going to get me into a fight as soon as i wake up if this does work i'll be a little upset if it doesn't work and i have to kill those last two wasps because i did do every single nest yes there it is okay and now they are all over the yard that is way more than i wanted to see however i don't know why i didn't do this first but i am going to go back to base uh, because i don't have much of anything right now Low on health, low on space, leave me alone. Low on smoothies, low on bandages. Yeah, so just running around fighting those wasps and honestly judging on that one fight I did where I fought two wasps at a time, uh, I'm not gonna do great versus the queen. So I did just get raided by the orb weavers probably like two in-game days ago. So I should technically be safe right now from a wasp raid for at least another four days. Although that orb weaver raid did summon a lot of orb weavers. So it could have been a higher level raid. Maybe I have more than six days even. Aha, my food is regenerating. That is great. We're gonna keep that on us. You know what, I think this is the first time I've actually had this trinket. I don't think I've had it in any other world prior to this. So I've just been over here trying to set up everything I need to fight the wasp queen, including these salt arrows. I just made 41 of, where I had one, I made 40 of them. Uh, and then I just remembered I actually have to go get the recipe and then come back here and make it anyway. So everything I need for the wasp queen, I'm just gonna wait. <gasps> no! What? When? Why? How? I know the where, it's right here. But why? What happened? I don't know. I'm... Mm, they won't eat. I mean, can they starve? I mean, y'all are still alive. 16 days. 18 days. Oh, obviously you're not there anymore. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little frustrating. It's a lot frustrating. Let's just put you back here. I guess I am gonna need a memorial graveyard now. Why do they do this? Like the aphid's got wings and a halo and it's like resting peacefully and then the ant is just like on its back. Like, oh God, it hurts. Like, you couldn't like make it fair? Give the ant some wings? It's your fault that he died, obsidian. Fix it. 
So I want to try a few things. I've been seeing people say that they eat pretty much everything but what they're supposed to eat. So I'm going to drop a couple of random things on the ground and see if they'll actually eat it. That's actually not what I want. I want this. Yeah, actually, I do want to go ahead and keep these salt arrows with me because there's going to be drones in there and I want them to be as the least amount of annoying as possible. And shooting them with salt arrows would help. I could also do pollen. The pollen arrows. We've got 68 pollen, which I'd rather use for the turrets. Since I have the salt already, I want to try the salt ones first to see how much damage they do. If they don't do a lot of damage and it seems like it would be better to knock them out of the sky and then beat them up, uh, then we'll switch to that. So I just got this quest, forgot I could get a new quest for Acid Edge, and I was like, what the hell is the Acid Edge? And so I had to look it up. They renamed the Sour Battle Axe to Acid Edge. I'm not mad at it. A lot of people are mad at it, apparently. I just I read some of that. It's pretty funny. But yeah, I had no idea that they changed the name. However, you get this from defeating Director Schmechter, which is something that I feel like you should accomplish after you kill Black Widow. So my idea, or I guess my thinking of how this is supposed to be directing you through the game in order is wrong. Because I do feel like there's also one of these for killing director specter and that hasn't shown up yet so i may do black widow soon i almost feel like it would be better to do it before the wasp queen now maybe i'll do them both and here we are back at the wasp den there is a black widow in here so i could go either way with this depending on how i am feeling i did grab the the sour weapon that i made i forgot what it was the sour club of the mother demon which is level seven probably could have bumped that up before i came here but if I decide to go that way, I'm ready for it. I mean, I'm not ready for it by no means do I actually think I am ready for either of these fights without dying. I know I'll eventually get it because I've done it before. Make sure you get this first tooth in here. It's right up here when you come up, you have to crouch to get back here. I walked all the way around already before I saw the tooth through the crack and I was like, oh. Yep, completely lied. Forgot there are two Black Widows in here. Not attempting the Black Widow right now. So we'll continue to on to the Wasp Queen. Maybe do the Black Widow later. I still just can't get over the fact that my Fire Ant is gone. And it's just so frustrating because you can't get them back. Okay. I have been working on this stupid Wasp drum for too long. It keeps healing up all the way, getting completely out of range. The arrows aren't doing much of anything. And I also keep falling off in that stupid cap. Ouch, are you following me? All right, yeah, get down here. I mean, you are back to full health again. I struggle way too hard with these drones and it's making me go through so many smoothies. Finally, joy. Hold up. They moved it? Have I just been wasting my time trying to jump up there? Okie dokie. All right, so I guess they moved it underneath there because the scabby scanner is not lighting up anymore. Too many people, I guess, complained about it being up there and they got tired of hearing about it. But that's good. I didn't know that got moved. That's how long it's been since I've done this. Oh, now we gotta fight some more stupid wasps. Oh, of course I started with a drone. See, and this is what's so frustrating is the fact that it's so high up there. The arrows aren't doing much and I'm using salt arrows. So I definitely need to use the pollen arrows or maybe even the fresh arrows could help. Maybe I'll stun it. I wonder if I could just knock you out of the sky with this. Okay, that honestly may be it. Mint Mallet does a lot more stun damage. I think that could be what I got to do with these drones, man. I really don't remember struggling with them like this before, but I didn't really spend too much time fighting them before either, so. Nope. Oh, you would move. Nope. Are you kidding me? Twice in a row? I'm gonna wait for you to move this time. Yeah. Hello? Do you want to come fight me? At all. I like how that reminder is in the brawny boy pen. So thanks for the heads up, guys. Eh, wasn't letting me pick up the chip at first. But if I'm correct, that's the last chip. So now that all that 
fun is done. We're gonna hop in here to the nest to get the raw science. That's it, nothing else. Just kidding. Somewhere over here is a skeleton. Oh, right here in front of it, actually. And this is where you get the recipe to summon the Wasp Queen. Oh, we also got the health and safety badge, which gives you lifesteal, that's awesome. However, it reduces your damage resist, which is not awesome. A badge from an ominous scientist granting access to their specific department of work. I do like the lifesteal, ooh. You know, that may be a good idea, getting a weapon with lifesteal in here to fight her. I should have enough to put salt on one. So looking at the Tick Makwahwittle, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, this does have lifesteal. I should have everything right there to make this. It is very fast, and I'm wondering what I can get the damage up to compared to the Salt Morning Star, which I feel like that's a possible goal. No, oh, it won't get all the way up to it, but it'll get close to it. I think this may be a good one to go with. Uh, you're not resistant to slashing, are you? I want to find that out real quick. Yeah, that may be a bad call because there is a 25% resistance to slashing damage, although there is a 25% Weakness does that cancel it out? Like I'm just like going straight for it. I don't know. Like the life steal is really tempting on that. But let me see what else I can get. I wish you could put perks on individual weapons. Like if I could put life steal on the Salt Morning Star, I think that would be really awesome. So you're unfortunately resistant to stabbing damage as well. Yeah, we're getting too far down the weapons list. So I do think sticking with the Salt Morning Star is going to be the best option. Unfortunately, you know I do need a bee stinger for the BBQ medley, and I'm actually not sure if I have one. And so this bee was right here, and volunteering itself, and then it just flew away. Oh, you're going too far away. What? It just flew through that wall. Can I go through that wall? I'm about to find out. I say that's a little unfair that you could do that, and I cannot. Got a bee stinger out of that one, thankfully. So I do know I have one. Watch me go back and have like 20 bee stingers. Do I have everything with me that I need? I do. All right, let's get one of those going. Only one. Definitely not gonna be able to take you on more than once right now. Ooh, while I'm waiting on all that, I forgot I can go see Burgle now. Hello, Burgle. Dissection expert will be a good one eventually. Obviously not for when fighting the Wasp Queen because I don't want that to take up a spot of the mutation. I feel like I could benefit from the cookbook. I am gonna be using a lot of the wasp dotes. Eventually, I don't think I'll be using it. You know, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cookbook for the Brawny Boy Ben because if I do end up like not being able to uh, kill the wasp queen with just the wasp dotes, it'd be nice to have a backup for that, for another form of poison resist. So I do believe for my setup, I am just gonna try and go for power to start off with at least. I am gonna use Barbarian, probably not the best option. Because uh, I am going to have to use a shield, which is going to reduce the damage that I do. I could try and avoid using a shield, but I'll end up taking too much damage, I'm sure. Meat shield uh, for a little bit of a health boost. Coup de grass for a critical hit chance. Trapper peeper to increase those attacks with the critical hit attacks. And then methrinitism because the wasp queen does do poison as well as the other wasp. So I think that'll help for sure. Then of course the salt warning star, maybe the shield. Uh, as far as our smoothies go. I did make a lot of beefy wasp oats. This will probably be kind of like my main. And then I brought uh, some of the leftover ones that I had, the sticky fuzz on the rocks from the max health, the attack boost, and the max stamina. And I'll also pop one of these mite loaves just for the attack stamina. Also forget about the salt crystal. I could have been using this earlier as well and that would have helped me fight the wasp, but this is gonna help me fight the wasp queen. <sighs> I am not ready for this. I am by no means ready for this fight. Just... Definitely not a fight I'm ready for. Hold up. Oh, no, you can't start off like that. Oh my god, no, no, no. Get out of here. Oh, I missed a tooth. Oh, that's probably down there at the Black Widows. That makes sense, yeah. I need to switch to salt. Okay, well, that was a waste. Wow, aim not great. These ads in here are much weaker than they are out in the backyard, so that is definitely beneficial. And I really appreciate you landing. Of course I'm out of stamina right now. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Boom, forgot to do that with the mantis. Not gonna forget it with you. Stop, 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 stop. 
No more. Yes, stay on the ground. That's fine. Oh, bandage, bandage. T tend to forget about the bandages. All right, so we got more of these guys. It's fine. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Yeah, so these guys seem to be two hit in here, which is pretty awesome. You're really low to the ground, which I really like. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, bad hit. Need to get a waspidote on. Oh, these are gonna hurt. They're so close to me. Oh, that's right underneath me. That's gotta be it. That's... Oh, wow. I don't know how that didn't get me. Listen, I need you to die. Thank you. Waspidote, please. I just cleared out. Why are there more? Stop doing that. We don't need any more ads in here. Oh, no, not the explosives. Oh, 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 ouch, no. Oh, I should have hit a waspidote just then. This is not looking good. Okay, okay. Whoa, there's so many. Oh, you're a drone. No, I wasn't even looking at my health. <sighs> okay. Well, that ends my flawless streak of this world. Ah, oh, Pete. Pete, 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 Pete. Died by misadventure. I mean, that's one way to put it, I guess. Yeah, so I got too distracted by taking out the ads. I wasn't even paying attention to my health. And then the drone in there is going to be a big deal because she's going to be healing the Wasp Queen. Okay. I mean, I didn't do, like, terrible on my first one. I didn't, I didn't even get her down halfway, though. Uh, but I do need to go in there and grab my stuff. My armor is so close to being damaged. I mean, honestly, though, like, my setup doesn't seem bad. But I definitely feel like moving in to like phase three, uh, it's going to end up being really bad. So I think I might need to reconsider some things, which I do need to head back to the base for anyway. I need to put the tuft on the bar. I thought that's how I was going to die the first time. It was going to be fall damage, and that would have been tragic. Wasp Queen is a little bit more of an epic death, I suppose. Okay, so a few takeaways from that. Her ads are two hits. I wonder how many hits that would be with the arrows, because if, if they're also two hits with the arrows, that's awesome. Then I'll be able to take out the drones, no problem. I could just use regular arrows even, unless it is damage based, but it, it seemed like it was consistently half health, one hit, and then the other half on the second hit. And another thing is when she lands, uh, she stays down on the ground for a while. I don't know if it's damage based where you do so much damage and then she takes off again, but if it's not, having that uh, tick sword and having that speed boost uh, with the lifesteal especially, I could just go to town. I could pro possibly do a significant amount of damage. I'm going to put salt on. I think I am going to do that. I'm going to make one. I'm going to put salt on one. I'm going to give that a shot. Would it be worth it to switch the ladybug armor? Probably not, because don't think it'll have near enough defense. Then again, I would also have more stamina. But this is also me focused on her on the ground. Like I still need to have a good setup for while she's flying around. And especially when she's shooting those explosive bursts. Yeah, I don't think the ladybug armor would be a great call on that. I think everything is coming back to a balance of speed and power. And I think that's what I'm gonna look into. Plus lifesteal. I really wanna have that lifesteal because I think that would be amazing. Or very beneficial, I should say. Tick Maquahuitl. 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 All right, make one of those. Let's level you up as far as I can. Oh, I'm putting salt on it. I do have to actually make some salty salt blobs. So I think I could drop Barbarian. The main reason I wanted it was to generate health, but if I'm gonna be using the Tick Sword that with Lifesteal, it's not gonna be that necessary. Oh, which does give me an option to have more stamina. By the way, the ants still didn't eat any food. Mm hmm. So I unfortunately won't be able to get the Tick Sword all the way up to level nine. I can't even get to level eight. I've only got enough to make one Salt Jewel, which I don't know if this will be enough. But I'm gonna give it a shot. There's no harm in me trying because I have already experienced death now. So let's go die again. Which actually, now that I think about it, if I'm using the Sword Mutation as well, I'm not even going to need buff lungs, so I can trade that out for something else that could help me. Oh wait, it'll be Blade Master. I would need to take off buff lungs to put on Blade Master. Plus it also lowers incoming damage. That's actually a pretty good trade-off. Alright, I think I'm ready to give this a shot. I did make some pollen arrows, I'm going to give them a shot. Nah, no pun intended. Uh, but I'm going to give them a shot. Uh, 
in case I need to drop anything. It doesn't seem like it. They all seem, oh, you know what? It could be beneficial against the drones when they come in. Hmm. Good call, good call, good call. Self, talking to myself, because it's a good call. All right, so I think I'm ready to go. I still don't feel like I'm ready for this fight at all. Uh, I, I am hoping there's gonna be a bit of a difference here though, just right off the bat. What is this? No, no, what do you mean? You don't have to do any of that, like at all. Just don't do it for the rest of the fight. You know, we'll be good to go. So I am taking poison, so it's a little hard to follow what the life steal is doing. Damage wise though, I was definitely doing more damage with the Salt Morningstar. I feel like it could have been a bit better if I would have been able to get this to level nine. Can you stay still? Uh, I feel like I am going to end up switching back to the Salt Morning Star at some point. Maybe when the drones come in, could be a good idea. Maybe I'll go back and forth because I feel like the life steal could come in handy later on. Why am I moving so slow? Oh, this is my least favorite attack for sure. Whoa, you just like kicked me in the air. I, I really do overall. Oh, come on, stop with that. I do overall feel like I'm not doing damage. Oh, that's right in front of me. Uh, fast enough. God, especially if you're gonna just keep spawning them in. Oh, and there's a drone. Can I hit the drone, please? Thank you. And the life still is pretty fantastic, but I feel like even with the Salt Morning Star, if I would just pay attention to my health, because that's what happened. That was my downfall um, on the first try, is that I just kind of lost track of where my health was at. All right, let's 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 do this. Ow. Ow! Going back to this. Because I am going to need that life steal. Oh my god, can you give me a break? Can you stop being poisoned? No, don't need any more. Oh, this is turning out to be really freaking bad. Wow, oh my god. I, I, I really got overwhelmed. Like I was having difficulty taking out the first round of ads. Um, and then the second one came in and it was just really downhill from there. I don't know what happened though. Like when I switched to the Salt Morning Star, it was like everything just went downhill. It wasn't even the fact that I couldn't use Lifesteal. It was, I think I just started taking hits back to back. I'm gonna have to put this fight on hold. And I really kind of, ah, man. Like I don't, I, I hate ending it on a note like this, but I, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to get a little more prepared for this fight. Maybe look up other alternatives to doing this fight. Maybe I just got the wrong loadout, wrong setup altogether. And also, this is just a fight I'm really not that experienced at. Like I said, I do believe I've only killed her one time before. And so going at it now just two times in a row is, you know, that makes the... F I mean, I don't want to say it's the third time fighting her because I definitely didn't kill her on the first try to begin with. I just don't have the experience as I've... What am I stuck on? As I've had with the other bosses uh, or the rest of the game overall. So this is definitely gonna be one to come back to. I do feel like I should turn my attention to the Black Widow, though I feel like I could take that out. I wanted to follow the trail that the quest line was leading me through, but I don't think that's the best idea. I, wow, okay. So I think for the first time in this entire series, I am ending on a bit of a low note. Uh, usually I end, having my quest done, but I've just, I've got to, I think I've just got a little more work to put into it and I need to switch pace back over to the Black Widow. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I just updated, it just got the update. They made it to where you can get baby ants back. Well, please tell me this is on, okay. I scared myself. This is freaking awesome. <gasps> the ant queen is here. Do I have to feed you again? Oh, okay, no, I just do that. Oh, these do respawn. I did not know that. Okay, so I can build stuff, no worries. Yeah, I'm gonna have everything built. Baby Ant, you're back. You know, I haven't even named them. I need to think of names. I completely forgot about naming my baby ants. Oh, that's so awesome. I am so happy they added that. Uh, there's some other things they added as well, but that is just the most important thing, is the fact that you can get your baby ants back. Ah. Oh. It's good to have all three again. Yeah, I need to get a weevil and a gnat just so I can have all the pets. Also, Ant Bastard, level three. Amazing. Look at these. Look, look, look at that. Hold on. Wait, where'd you go? Look at this. Look at this. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look, look. What? What? Nothing. That's what I thought. Yeah, Ant Bastard is the way to go. Definitely, I think uh, befriending all three of them to begin with was the best move. Well, 
I already said all this, but I'm going to say it again because I want this to be at the very end of the video. <laughs> uh, that little update was definitely impromptu. I like shut down. Just, I don't want to say I'm in a mood. Like I knew I was going to die eventually. I expected it to be earlier. It's not the death part. It's kind of the frustration, specifically the drones overall uh, with how they stay out of range. Although during that fight, it seemed uh, a little bit easier to keep them or to not keep them within range, but to, to get them. Like they didn't seem to fly out of range too much. They don't have much to go. I didn't even get to try out the pollen arrows in that fight. But that is going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and for uh, dealing with the dread that I have just went through. I feel like we have experienced this together and we are closer for that. So thank you for being here. I love you. But anyway, I just need to get my baby at home and then I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Again, I do have channel members uh, available if you want to access those. I'm still tweaking some things. Hopefully I'll have everything ready to go and set up uh, within the next week or so. I did post my first members only video. If you'd like to go check that out, it is kind of just a in-between behind the scenes dealio. I do believe I talked about this already. So let me quit rambling on and let me get out of here. Until next time. I'll see you.